Hi everybody, welcome to Core Conditioning. We have Carrie, we have Colleen here tonight, and uh, Jen's over on the side. But uh, we're gonna do some core conditioning, so let's start with a little core warm up. Let's lay on our backs. Knees are up, shoulders flat. Put those knees and ankles together, and I just want you to move them right to left, keeping your shoulders flat on the ground. All we're trying to do is get some flexibility through that center. It's a nice, steady back and forth. A little farther every time. Back and forth. All right, so now we're gonna try and take our knees and bring them all the way to the right holding our shoulders flat. You may put your arms straight out if that helps. Just relax those knees to the floor. If you can't make the floor, go as far as you can. Remember, everybody's gonna be at a different level, so you need to make sure you work within your abilities. Modify when needed. Feel that stretch all the way up this side. All right, excellent, let's go the other direction. Same thing, hold those shoulders flat, bring the knees down. You can use your hand on top if you'd like to help. Pull those knees towards the floor. Stretching should always be a steady, slow process. It should feel sometimes maybe a little painful, but in a good way, it should never hurt in a painful way. exhaling. All right, bring it back up to the top. Excellent. Let's put our right ankle up on our left knee. Arms are still at the side and we're going to tip over the side just like we came out of. So our foot is flat. Now I want you to take your left hand, put it on your right knee, push the knee away and bring your right arm over your head and try to keep as much distance between your knee and your fingertips up here as you can. Feel the stretch up through the obliques. Front side, your hip flexor TFL. Nice and easy, relieving that tenseness. All right, now grab your knee, pull your knee towards your shoulder. Feel that glute medius maximus minimus stretch. And release, great job. Other side, left ankle up on the right knee. Let's tip, we're gonna push away, left arm over. Actively pull those muscles apart. Stretching. All the way through the rib cage, up into the armpit. All right, now let's grab that knee, pull it towards your shoulder. You're gonna feel it down here in that glute area. And well done, great job. All right, knees back up. Without tightening our hamstrings, I just want you to lift your butt off the ground, okay? Shoulder width your legs. You feel very soft hamstrings but you can feel underneath here, there's nothing touching after engaged. We'll just hold. Excellent. All right, now let's press our butt straight into the mat. I want you to open up that little tunnel through your lumbar. That's the small of your back. Push those two butt cheeks straight into the mat. You feel that little tunnel underneath, you can feel your fingers right in that hole, and hold, and release, let's take a breath, inhale, exhale, all right, bring our feet straight up, okay, I want you to grab your ankles with your hands, now you may bend your knees, if you can't lock out those knees, then just bend them to modify, 
but you can get those hands around those ankles and then pull your feet right over the top of your head. Look straight up, you can see your feet. You're feeling a stretch right through here, lower back. Excellent. All right, let's release our feet to a 90 degree angle with our torso. Put our arms straight out to the side. We're gonna imagine a rope wrapped around your ankles and somebody's pulling your feet straight to the ceiling by lifting your hips off the ground there and then returning them to the ground here. Here we go. One, two, straight up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe ten more. Eleven, twelve, straight up. Thirteen, gracefully. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Great job, let's bring our hips back down. Take a breath, inhale, exhale. I don't want you to take your left foot, I want you to bring it straight to the floor. We'll hold this right one up here. We're gonna bring it out to the outside right here and then bring it across this way in a sweeping motion. Here we go, one, two, Three, four, shoulder to flat, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Splendidly done. Bring your foot straight up. Bring that one down. This one comes straight up. Flat your foot to the ceiling. Keep your shoulders on the ground. Here we go. Bring it over. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done. Bring it to the top. Bring it down. All right. Our feet are laying straight on the ground here. Nice straight leg. Look down your body. All right. Let's put our hands straight in the air. Right up above. And I want you to bring your feet straight up, just like that, all right? And I want you to lift your shoulders to bring your fingertips closer to your toes. And we'll just hold. Engaging the abs. It's more of a static strength. All right, hold your shoulders off the ground. Keep your fingertips here. And we're gonna take, alternating our legs, touching a heel one, and two, three, four, shoulders up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, give me ten more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, shoulders up, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's hold them up, don't let those shoulders drop. We wanna make sure we keep this active. Feel that burning sensation, that's all progress. All right, let's do both feet together this time, holding shoulders up, and down one, two, three. Shoulders up, four, five, Six, seven, eight, you can do this. Nine, 10, I think you can do 10 more. 11, 12, 13, fabulous. 14, 15, shoulders up. 16, 17, 18, oh. 19, 20, you are in your break, bring them down, relax. Inhale, big, exhale, whoo, nicely done. All right, let's bring our knees up just like this. Make these 
parallel to the vertical surface in whatever room you're in. Let's just put our hands right on our bellies, just like so, resting. And we're gonna kick out our left leg, just like that. Pull your toe towards your shin, okay? Now on my call, we will alternate the same motion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, straight out, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 40, one, you got it, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 50. Bring them back to the starting position. Great job, everybody, well done. Take a breath. We're not gonna quite let you relax. All right. What's good for one is good for two legs at the same time. One, two, shoulders up. Three, four, five, six, all that burns. Seven is what is good. Eight, nine, 10, you earn that one. Boom, down. While we're stretching, let's put our arms straight overhead. Pull those fingertips high and press your heels straight away. Excellent. All right, let's bring our arms back in. Let's put our knees back up. Let's do the basic All-American Crunch. So we're gonna keep our back nice and flat, don't have any little holes down there, and our shoulders are gonna come up here, and then we come back down. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You can do it. 21, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30. Give me 20 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 40. Oh, one, and two, three, squeeze, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 50, down. Woo! All right, take a breath, inhale. Big, exhale out, boom. All right, fabulous. Bring our feet straight up in the air again, all right? Put our hands right over our head. We can uh, clasp our fingers together, make a fist. All right, so all we're gonna do here is we're gonna go up through the V, and back down as we close the V. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, lift, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, burn it, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, you got it, 18, 19, 20, down. Woo, good work. All right, let's go up on our knees. Right. Let's put our heels right at our side, right on our hip bones, right like that, okay? Let's bring up tall, okay? Shoulder width to your legs, hands on your hips. All we're gonna do is come back here. One, two, you're in control of this, three, Four, core is tight. Five, six, seven, oh boy. Eight, nine, ten. Well done. Let's go on all fours. Step back. 
All right, let's push our bellies down towards the mat. It's a nice uh, traditional yoga pose here. What do you call this? Cat, cow, cat, cat, dog, cat, something like that. Camel, camel, cow? I don't remember. Push it down. And I don't know the yoga name, like a makashmukalaka. Don't know it. All right, now I'm going to arch it up. Draw those belly buttons really tight, really tight. All right, here we go. Let's do the flex. We go down and up and down and up. We're looking for flexibility of the spine. Core is moving those muscles. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, neutral spine, well, great job. All right, so this one's kind of a, it's not a lot of action going on here, it's very small movement. So we're gonna imagine our belly button, we're gonna do it, we're actually gonna pull it towards our spine as we tuck our pubic bone towards our sacrum right back here. This works your deep core muscles. So here we go, you're gonna have a little bit of movement right on your belly button, here we go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job. Thirteen. Tuck it. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Well done. Take a breath. Great job. All right. Let's lay our legs straight out. We're going to be up here in a push-up position. If you need to modify, you'll go on your forearms. All depends on your back. Some people's backs don't like it as much. But this is a really good exercise to keep your back in good shape. And we just let those hips sink. All that crunching we've been doing, you feel that stretching out. So now let's advance it. Again, modify if you need to. Look back at one of your heels. Then to the other direction. Keep your hips low. Just advancing the stretch. Excellent. All right, back to center. Let's go to our forearms now. Let's clasp our hands in the center of the mat. Put our elbows on the perimeter. I want you to put your feet together, knees together, all the way tight. And let's go up on the plank now. Remember, a good plank, you keep your butt down, okay? When you bring it up here, you help yourself cheat a little bit. We don't want cheating. Now, a modification here would be right on your knees, put your feet in the air, just like that. As long as you're challenging yourself, that's all that matters. All right, let's hold. tight, keep it low, good job everybody, doing great. You can do it. Whether I'm right next to you or through that little lens there, we're doing the same thing at the same time. Hold on to it. Got it. Just about there, but not quite. A little more. Three, two, and release down. Let's put our arms out front. Well, well, well done. Okay. Now that we're out here, we'll take that breath. Inhale, exhale. Okay, we're going to raise up our right arm and our left leg. I want you to squeeze that glute muscle tight. Just hold it up. You want all that leg surface off the ground, just to the top of your hip. Glute muscle, you feel that? That's tight. Awesome. And down, great job. So we go left arm, right leg, up past that hip bone, 
Hold, squeeze that glute muscle, turn it on, activate it. Well done, keep it up. Squeezing. Perfect. And down, great job. Take that breath. Okay, let's do the Superman, Superwoman. Here we go. Both right, left arm, left leg, right leg, up. Get those knees off the ground. Let's hold. All right, while we keep our legs off the ground, now I want you to take your hands, swim. One, two, three, big stroke. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull that water. Nine, ten. We got ten more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Doing great. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Down. Great job. Take a breath. Excellent. All right, let's put, move our hands right up here, right alongside the shoulders, you spot right here. Dig your toes into the mat. Let's go up into a push-up position. Whoop. All right, nice straight body lines. Let's walk out to shoulder width with our feet. Again, modification. Could be right here, feet in the air. Could be on your elbows. You do what you can do. All right, let's hold that plank. Beautiful. All right. Now all we're going to do is we're going to tap our shoulders with the opposite hand, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Don't drop your plank. Let's go back to where we were. Well done, everybody. So good. So instead of doing uh, the tap tap, now we're going to do a four point one, two, three, and four. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Five, two, three. Four, keep strong. Six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, nine, two, three, four, ten, two, three, four. Hold your plank. Just a little. We got this. Come on. Very solid. Alternatingly, we're gonna lift our feet off the ground. One, two, three, squeeze your glute. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Take a break. Good job. While we're down here, let's do that. What's that called? The uh, schoolboy's pose or child's pose, something like that. <laughs> I never did this as a schoolboy. Not one time. All right, just flat those feet. Bring those heels low as possible and tuck that butt down to touch. And then stretch those hips back away from your fingers. 
Good job, ladies. Everybody's doing great. So now let's put a little lateral swing to it. A little deeper stretch. Right to left, left to right. All right, I think your plank muscles have recovered. Let's go into a plank with our forearm this time. All right, here we go. Remember, I always look through the little tunnel down there and see what you look like underneath. Hopefully it looks pretty straight. Okay, so this time all we're gonna do is shake hands. Well, I know we can't do it nowadays, but one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and down. Let's flip on our backs. You're doing great out there. Ladies doing great in here. All right, here we are, back on our backs again. All right, this time, we're gonna roll on our sides. I'm gonna put my hand right behind my head, just like this, okay? I want you to lengthen your body out. Legs come out, you got a little bit of a kink right at your waist, just like that, ding, all right? So all we're gonna do, we're gonna come up, we're gonna go, wait, hold on. This hand's in the wrong place. Top hand is behind your head. This hand comes out to support. So we're straight out, and we come up. One, two, lift and high. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep with me. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Squeeze in. 14, right about waist high. 15, we make the touch. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's flip. I'll flip on the camera. You can just flip on the other side if you want. However you want to do it. All right, legs straight out. Hand behind our head. We're going to meet at the waistline. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Great job. Take it down. All right, let's flip out our backs again. Ah. I saved the good ones for last, okay? These are always, always bring a smile on everybody's face. All right, put your hands out here, all right? All we're gonna do is lift our feet off the ground, right there, six inches. Now again, if you can't do it, do a single leg, okay? If you can do two legs, fabulous. Sometimes people need to tuck under here, I understand. But your goal is to be out here. Let's hold them up. See, I did it last because your abs are really feeling like they haven't been doing anything. It's the way you finish strong. All right, point your toes out in TV land. There you go. All right, so let's spread your legs wide like so. Just hovering right about there, six inches or so. Bring it back in. Out. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now, one up. Two up. Three up. Four. Five. Lifting. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Start it, stop at the top. Got that little V look there, right? Here we go in, 
out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the RV position on the outside. Now we're going to go down into the center with our Bs. Here we go. One, two, three. This will get you. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. All right, let's bring our knees up. Big inhale. Exhale. We're going to wrap this one up. You guys were great as always. Ladies, thanks for helping me out here. Core is all about consistency. Got to do it all the time. You can't show up for a core class once a month and wonder why you're not as good as you should be. Got to do it regularly. Now you have no excuse. You can do it almost every day. Probably get sick of looking at me, though. Anyways, I appreciate you. Jen appreciates you. I hope you appreciate you. Till next time, see you later. Ugh.